Welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. I hope you're all doing great. It's time to dive into another vintage style digital watch from Casio. And in today's video, we'll be taking a closer look at the awesome A170AWA. This watch features a chrome plated case and a stainless steel bracelet. The design is more of a vertical rectangle shape, differing from the usual square models like the F91W, and instead more like the W800H. And on a closer look, the case is quite similar to the F201, with the main difference being in the finish and button type. Sizing up at small to medium, it measures 41.2 mm long, 34 mm wide, 10.8 mm thick, and weighs 51 grams. It is rated as water resistant, so it can handle splashes, but not water pressure like swimming and so on. This cool timepiece uses CR2025 with a battery life rating of 10 years. And for the detailed specifications, you can check the video description. Now about the materials, the case gives the impression that it is made from metal, but it's not. It is resin with a chrome plated finish. And the crystal is resin glass, so it's not scratch resistant. And the straps, on the other hand, are made from stainless steel. On the left side, you will find two chrome buttons, adjust and mode. And on the right side, also two chrome buttons, light and start stop. The panel's color theme is quite simple, black background with white and gray letters with only the WR marking that's standing out in blue. The display is easy to read, especially for those of us with not so sharp eyes like me. The upper part shows the day, month, and date, and the main display features large digits displaying the hour, minute, and second. It is one of the watches that have larger digits in my collection, although not as bold as the W217 or B650. One thing to note is that the lower part of the display can feel a bit empty unless you activate an alarm, alarm with snooze or hourly signal. On the back side, you will find a stainless steel back plate secured with four screws. Engravings on the back plate detail the watch specifications including the module code 3234, model name, water resistance and production location. The strap interface uses 18mm spring bars, accessible from the button, which can be pried open with a spring bar remover if needed. The strap is stainless steel bracelet with an adjustable sliding clasp. It shares a striking resemblance to the one on the A168, with the same lock interface size, similar outer width, and also the pattern. About the bracelet, you can easily adjust to fit your wrist by using a small screwdriver like this. Just pop out this metal strip, slide the buckle as needed, and then push the strip back to lock. Just like the W800H, the program displays 3233, and it also offers the same four modes, timekeeping, alarm, stopwatch, and dual time. The alarm is multifunction type. You can also set the month and date when needed. It also features a snooze function, along with the usual hourly signal or chime. Next, the stopwatch. It shows hundredth of a second on the top right, and the main display shows the stopwatch hour, minutes, and seconds. The time range of the stopwatch spans up to 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59.99 seconds. And then the dual time function. This will be handy if you are hopping between time zones like collaborating with people from around the globe online, and so on. Now let's check the backlight. It has a simple green LED at the bottom left of the screen, sufficiently lighting the entire display. The decision to use this LED power level might be intentional to conserve the battery power. It also has the afterglow feature, 
that keeps the backlight on for 1.5 seconds after pressing the button. This feature helps a lot, but I wish it could be extended to 3 seconds. Okay, now for the pros of this watch. Number 1. It has a cool retro style with a simple color theme. And then the display has large digits, making it very easy to read. Also, the battery life is impressively long, 10 years. It's also comfortable on the wrist. The backlight with afterglow is practical and useful. And the last one, it's within a very budget-friendly range, priced at only about 22 up to 29 US dollars. However, there are also a few considerations. Number one, it's quite thick, 1 mm thicker than the A168, which itself is already thicker than the A158 or A159. Also, the lower part of the display looks somewhat blank if you're not using the alarm, snooze, or signal. If this thing bugs you and you're not using the alarm, a quick trick is to set the alarm date and month to February 29, which is possible because it has multifunction alarm. And then the next one, some might find the strap type prone to pulling hairs. And I also wish it included a countdown timer. Anyway, just like the W800H, some users have managed to modify this watch to unlock the countdown timer. But I might not attempt that modification with this watch anytime soon. In conclusion, I would recommend this watch if you're on the hunt for a vintage style digital timepiece that's easy to read and also has functional backlight with the afterglow feature. Plus, it has a simple color theme that's going to be easy to mix and match with any kind of formal wear. And that wraps up everything you need to know before deciding to add this watch to your collection. It's a handsome digital timepiece with impressive features and functions. I hope you found this review both helpful and informative. Thanks for tuning in and remember to subscribe for more content like this. Wishing you a great day and I will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.